Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 4 Golden. And the only thing left for us to do tonight is to watch the Midnight Channel. So let's go. Take a look at this. Namatame's in today's paper. So it's finally over. Yeah. Seriously. I wish we could have done it sooner. Isn't the fog kind of thick this morning? And it's so chilly. <sighs> it rarely gets this cold in November. Oh, it's you guys. Perfect timing. I just got a call from the hospital. They said that starting today, it's okay to visit Nanako-chan. So she's getting a little better. Thank goodness. Oh, is that today's paper? So you already know about him. Well, the perp's been caught, so yeah. He's still mentally unstable, but we're slowly piecing together his story. This is still a secret, but I guess it's okay to tell you guys. You know that diary we found? There were entries about Miss Yamano and Miss Konishi in it. Looks like Namatame had been making advances on Miss Konishi. That son of a bitch! Yeah, well, I'm gonna head to the hospital now. Dojima-san's recovering too, so I need to go over a few things about this case with him. Yosuke. Sorry, I'm all right. Namatame's been caught. He can't hurt anyone now. But forget him. Let's all go visit Nanako-chan after school. Of course! Let's tell the others once we get to school. So, it's finally over. Namatame is in custody. But unfortunately, the exams are still on their way. Yeah... Though you may be very busy with your studies, make sure to keep yourself personally groomed. Every year, some boys stumbling in the class will stubble on their chins. Of course, their five o'clock shadow is more of a five-day shadow. Spring your facial hair, some nations used to impose a tax on facial hair. In the 18th century, Russia, they had a hat tax, bath tax, laundry tax, chimney tax, and more to fund their military. Mmm, those were taxing times. <laughs> Be sure to take this down. Is this really gonna be on the t Okay. I guess we can't argue with the teacher. And yes, we'll listen to the lecture, but after that, we'll be able to visit Nanako in the hospital. Nanako, everyone's here to see you. <laughs> Big bro. Dojima-san! Ugh! How many times does this make it today? 
I understand that you're worried about your daughter, but you still need your rest, too. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, are your injuries that bad? Hmm. Well, my wounds have just closed up, and it seems I have a couple of fractures as well. I'm sorry. I'll wheel him back to his room immediately. What are you apologizing for? It's almost time for your checkup, so make sure you're back in your room before then. Big bro. <sighs> yeah, I'm so glad. Her condition is stable for now, but, uh, I never thought I'd say this as a doctor, but we still can't figure out the cause of Nanako-chan's symptoms. That's why we can only administer temporary treatments to alleviate her current pains. But she's not in danger anymore, is she? She's regained consciousness, but we can't let our guard down yet. All we can do for now is to monitor her condition closely. <sighs> Adachi, how's it going with Namatami? Well, he's awake now, but he's in no condition to tell us anything useful. We only get a little time each day to interrogate him, so we're stuck until his strength recovers. I see. I should get back to work as soon as possible. Hopefully by then, Nanako will be out of the hospital. Um, I think Nanako-chan can get more peace and quiet if she stays here. It's so foggy out. And there's been some weird rumors going around. Seems like no one knows why there's so much fog in town. It's true. The number of patients complaining about fog-related health problems has increased, which is quite unusual. I can't say for sure that it has no effect on the human body. It certainly could be a psychological effect. People's anxiety over the fog could cause problems, but as far as the fog's chemical makeup, well, that's not my field, so I can only speculate. What concerns me is that transportation of our medical supplies has been delayed due to the fog. Fog-related health problems. Oh, that's just ridiculous. Anyone who says that is just blowing smoke. Nanako has somehow regained consciousness. But it seems that it will take more time until she fully recovers. Namatame's interrogation, that has finally begun. The fog that won't lift, and people's mysterious health problems. For now, it seems that you can only watch and wait to see how things will turn out. Isn't this weather strange? How could it be lasting so long? I've never seen anything like it. I wonder what's causing it. It's so creepy. I heard that a friend of mine's son got sick from the fog and collapsed. You know how sensitive children are to that sort of thing. I heard something too. They say an old man was driving through the fog and got into an accident. What? Did he lose control? Well, he'd never been in an accident or even gotten a ticket before, so something seems off. Isn't that scary? I've even heard there are experts saying it's poisonous. I wonder if that's true. Do you think it's, you know, because of that global warming thing? This town's changed a lot over the years. I wish the government would step in and do something about this. Oh, I agree completely. If we're going to pay taxes, I expect the authorities to do their jobs. This fog is poison! It's a gas filled with viruses! Don't inhale the fog or you'll die! 
He's not the first one like that I've seen lately. Poisonous gas, though? Oh, I'm sure it's not true. Oh. Hmm. Is something wrong? Oh my. I... I think I'm coming down with something. You... you can't be serious. <laughs> oh, that's right. I needed to do some grocery shopping. Well then. Business has been so slow lately. An eerie fog has enveloped Inaba in recent days. Very peculiar, but hmm. It's not gonna stop me from doing my thing. I'm getting some bugs. Now the Genji Beetles that we need next to actually complete the second half of the request are not gonna show up yet. Good, good, good. I'd just like to show today that yes, you can time it a bit better than me and get many more bugs. And we got six here. That's the max you can get if you've read all the books and timed everything properly. But as I said, yes, we can't get the Genji Beetles. What I mainly wanted to do this evening is you want to find Rise in the shopping district and say hi to her. And man, this music sure is... Strange. Senpai. And speaking of strange, hi, Rise. What are you doing today other than hanging out inside your grandma's shop? Would it be okay with you if we spent some time together? As I desperately want to complete your social link. <laughs> I accidentally tore the sleeve on my uniform. Oh my gosh, Rise, I don't care. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just when I was cursing my luck, Kanji fixed it up quick with his sewing kit. I came out looking better than I did before I ripped it. I knew he was good, but... That was really something. Yeah, he's pretty amazing, isn't he? Actually, isn't he a little ahead of me when it comes to girl stuff? I don't think sewing's necessarily girly. But, I mean, <laughs> like all these options, really. Just have faith in yourself, Risa. You'll be fine. You're right. I'm not gonna let him outgirl me. Uh, I mean, he's, pr he's pretty manly outside of that. And I'm gonna go practice. Where should I start? <laughs> On Teddy's outfit, um... I think it probably needs a little bit of touching up and... Oh, Kanji was pretty cold to you. I thanked him for the help, and he told me to shut up. Do you think he's embarrassed? Hmm, something like that, Risa. <laughs> Seems especially mean to Risa. I don't really know why. Maybe she's just not his type. <laughs> oh, but before I go. I want you to have it, Senpai. Uh, uh, thank you. Ta-da! Surprise present. Did I get you? Uh, k kind of. Thank you, Rise. Where the heck you just gave me? I'm okay. The fog still isn't gone. Hmm. The weather's really getting weird lately. What's up with all this fog, dude? This fog looks like it's gonna stay here forever. Go with a backpack. Eh, I heard it's nothing to worry about. That's what some great guy on TV said. Oh, I heard that's poisonous. Very toxic. And nobody even knows why it's toxic. Man, just thinking about how toxic it is makes me feel ill. I should probably stay at home and <coughs> Ugh, You're just too lazy to make the finals. <laughs> this kid will get any excuse to not take his finals, in, including saying the fog is poisonous, but some people have been actually reporting. You know, that the fog's been harming them. Is it true? Is it all in their heads? Huh, no, the season sucks. I got back pains. Speaking of pain, there's a deity that makes your back hurt. It's a titan named Atlas. Do you know about him? He's often depicted carrying the earth on his shoulders. And it looks really heavy. <laughs> makes me just start looking at it. And atlases are also used in geography class. Do you know what they are? Well, then, Yokun, who doesn't look like he'd know... <sighs> I actually do, Yamada. Do you know what an atlas is? It is a book of maps. Weirdo. <laughs> You're very good. Yep, an atlas is a book of maps. Mercator's book of maps featured a large picture of atlas on the cover. Hmm. 
Note the spelling. It's Atlas, okay? I mean, how else would you? <laughs> God, I love this company so much. <laughs> We're out there anyways. Ow, my back! You can call, could you? Okay. <laughs> Stop ad -limbing. Uh, words for Mr. Yamada to say. Anyways! You may remember, in the last video, we caught a big old fish, and I was really excited about that. Now, we're gonna create a man's final wish by heading on over to the floodplains. You may remember this guy wanted to see the river guardian before he'd give us the pole to fish the sea guardian. Ah, it's you. We have to catch the guardian. Uh, yeah, actually. Let's take a look, shall we? Mm, ah, incredible. Looks like I had you figured out right. I knew you could do it, boy. I'm a man of my word. Think of this rod as me, okay? Take good care. Uh, okay, man, and we'll get the deep sea rod. You just might be able to do it. I reckon. Even though I spent my whole life chasing that legendary fish, I think you might be the one to bring it home. Mm. Sorry, boy. I didn't mean to get all missed, Dad. Just forget what I told you and enjoy yourself out there. Then, then, as your eyes goes fishing, me, I'm done for. I'm, uh, I'm just making sure to exhaust all of his dialogue because you should do that, or the Genji Beetles will not show up. And yes, we can, you need to say, leave it to me, and now the Genji Beetles will show up, and you're gonna catch that fish, and now I've never even caught. Well, must have been fate that led me to give you that fish, Rod. <laughs> all right, I'll teach you everything I know. Finish the task I started. And I believe if we speak to him, no, I think, I think, yeah, we're actually good. Now we can find Genji Beetles in the shrine, which are going to be the bait for the Sea Guardian, which is our next task, and actually the final task of completing the Hermit Social Link. Now I've done that, I actually really need to save my game, just to make sure everything goes swimmingly in this episode. We're actually going to head back to Yasogami High since showing in that fish and obtaining the rod did not actually consume any of our time and do a spend time event with Naoto. Senpai? I... I... don't know what to say. Um... Oh... If you don't mind. I'm free today. Uh... Okay, Naoto? Yes. It usually helps to speak your mind though in situations like this, but... I guess she needs a little bit more time. As we look for books, man, the shopping district with all this fog. Yeah, kind of weird. And that's pretty much all we did today. But the night is still young, so let's go. To Tutor Shoe. About this, is this gonna show up on any tests? If it is, I wanna know a way to memorize it. Uh, write in your calculator. Wait, actually, don't do that because you can get in trouble. Unless you're me. <laughs> Anyways, I don't cheat. I've got a big test coming up. Mm, that's gonna cover a lot of material. Oh well. I'll be at the head of the class this time too. I won't lose. I won't lose. Oh man. My boy doesn't seem that confident. Hey! Getting good grades and being great at sports, being fun to talk to and good looking? Is it possible for anyone to be all those things? Do you know anyone like that? Uh, not to sound too vain, Yashu, but I do have all five stats maxed out. <laughs> you mean yourself? <laughs> You're really full of yourself, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Teach me your ways. All right, first need uh, I is every. D uh, anyways, <laughs> I've been having this dream lately. In my dream, I'm on a train. It keeps speeding up, but I don't know where the tracks lead. There are no exits, so I can't get out. And there's someone coming from the car behind me. I can hear the doors opening and the footsteps. I don't know who it is, and I'm get scared. Every time I had that dream, the person gets one car closer to me. Oh, man. You probably just need to take a, a rest, man. You sound like you're overworking yourself. Probably. The only time I get a rest is when I'm sleeping. I can't even do that right now. I want to be free. Oh, man. 
Gosh, this kid is so overworked, dude. You gotta take it easy sometimes, Shu. If I'm not the best... Oh, man. Shu, <sighs> dude. You gotta cheer up, man. Alright? Don't worry about being number one. <laughs> Just do the best you can do, and some, you know, you'll be alright. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Good, he's smiling. But, please, come back again. Huh? No, no problem, dude. I, I plan to. I mean, you're not annoying me that much. Unlike another social link. Anyways. The tutor student is now level 8. As we talk to him about w rounding out his personality and getting his stats maxed out. <laughs> I feel like I'll be able to sleep well tonight. Goodbye. Alright, man. Hey, hey, I'm glad, dude. Get a long night's sleep, alright? Oh man, worried about my boy Shu. Hope he'll be okay, and hope he'll do well on his next test coming up. And <laughs> hope I'll do good too. Actually, we'll probably be fine. Anyways, I want to make absolute sure you know this. To get access to the secret ending, not really secret, but the best possible ending in Persona 4 Golden, you want to make absolute sure you max out Marie's social link before a certain day. I'm gonna be maxing it out today, but from now on, you wanna prioritize Marie 100% if you want the best possible ending. And, let's go. so far we're on track. So let's spend a day with Marie and, hey, there's a place I wanna go. All right, the place with the meat on the sticks. It's okay, right? I'm um, sure I guess, Marie. <laughs> Jeez, fog again? Really bugs me that it has to be foggy now. It's tough, hard to bite into, and it got cold while I was still eating it. It was tasty. I remember it all from when we came here. This place, this taste, and you. Huh. This is a memory. A new memory. One that has no ties to who I was before. I can feel it now. It makes me happy. When we were looking at clothes, your friends told me something. There are things that you can't do by yourself, but can do with others. That's true. You gave me a new memory. You taught me that I don't need to be worried. I wouldn't have been able to do that on my own. I only realized that because of you. Stupid jerk, I hate you. I was getting around to it until you had to be a jerk about it, but thank you. You can have this. I don't need to worry anymore. So I'm giving this to you. Finding memories, making new ones. Either way, I'll be with you, right? So, I want you to have this.
Good. Next. Let's go visit a bunch of new places. I want to go to a beach and on a mountain and... and... um... Whatever. You figure it out. I'll leave everything to you. See? Marie isn't all that bad. She's just a little... Um... Mean sometimes, but you know she has she has a nice side as well. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Persona 4 Golden, where we finally got to see Nanako. Oh man, I just know she's gonna pull through, but she'll need a little bit of time to do so. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. See you in the next episode, where we continue on with November. Bye.